Okay, let's go back to our word stress work. Okay, so this is one of the rules. Okay, the rule is that you stress the last syllable, the last syllable in words that have a prefix and a base. Okay, so this has a prefix and a base. Prefix and a base. Prefix, base. Okay, you guys get the picture. So the rule here is so, you know, here are some examples re, d, add and con okay so receive require admit decide where are you guys hearing the stress prefer good so we're going to stress this part here i'm going to put the little red the stress is in red okay so prefer conduct conduct okay so all of those are going to have like no very little uh, emphasis on the first syllable and then more emphasis on the second syllable. Okay. And remember when we stress something or we stress a syllable, we make it a little longer, a little louder and a little more clear. Okay. So we're not going to reduce anything in the stressed syllable. Okay. So, and then what happens here in the unstressed syllable. So for this word, so here conduct, conduct, what happens? So we know what happens here because we're stressing that conduct, uh, right? This syllable gets reduced, reduced. So I'm not saying conduct. I'm not saying that. I'm saying conduct, conduct. So this gets reduced. And this is what it sounds like. Conduct, con, con. Very little, if at all, um, vowel sound there. So you could say it's kin or kin. Okay. So it's not ka because if I make that clear, then it's going to sound like it's stressed. So I have to reduce that. Reduce means to make it smaller. Okay. The second one here, stress the blank syllable in the verbs and the blank syllable in the nouns. Okay. So what I want you guys to see, I have four in this list here and four in this list and they look totally the same don't they they look completely the same now i'm going to call these verbs and i'm going to call these nouns okay now i'm going to pronounce them as verbs and i'm going to pronounce them as nouns and i want you guys to hear the difference okay so produce 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 and by the way you guys english has i don't know lots of these words lots of them that are two syllable words that are identical when written but in spoken english have different stress patterns and therefore are different words. So all of these, when I say them, are verbs. It, I know English is crazy and we just have to learn this. So don't let it get you irritated. <laughs> okay. Produce, conduct. What's happening here? Which one is stressed? So if we, if we separate this, produce, we're stressing this syllable, the second syllable. We can make the stair step like that. Okay. Produce. All right, conduct, conduct. We're gonna stress here. These are the verbs, okay? So stress the blank syllable in the verbs. Yep, we're gonna say the second, the second syllable. These are all the second syllables and they are all verbs. When we use these identical words as nouns, we have produce, produce. So now you've got this first syllable Okay, the stress is gonna be on that first syllable. You guys probably could have guessed that from our sentence here. Conduct, okay, the stress is here. Record, okay, A record is the thing. These are all things, right? Because they're nouns. Present, it's like a gift, something you give someone, okay? This is to present. This is present, okay? So this can be kind of tricky. Um, and it's tricky for Americans too, like native people, you know, native English speaking, it can be difficult. Um, 
especially in when you're reading, right? When you're listening, there's no problem. You never even think about it. You know, you just think, oh, it's a present. And then I present, you know, there's, you don't really think about it, but in, in written stuff, you know, when you're reading something maybe out loud or in class or something and you have to read, then you say, oh my gosh, is that present? And the, and the way that you figure it out is by the context of the other words in the sentence or in the paragraph, okay? It shouldn't really be that difficult for you, but, but just kind of in general, knowing this rule will be really helpful for you guys, okay? So the rule again,